what's up? It's David here from the Lego Guys. Coming at you with a comparison of the new 4x4 with Catamaran, just the Catamaran actually, and the uh, the classic one from 1994. I uh, got this from a friend recently and I just thought it was so cool and then I bought this and I thought I should uh, do a comparison video on them. Now, let's start with the minifigures. On the old catamaran, there was two. I only have one. The uh, chief, you could say, right here. It's not focusing very well. But he just has um, a good amount of detail to him. You can see he's just a simple smiley face there. Got some bones around his neck. Nice big molded headpiece with some feathers on top. That's a different piece. And a little staff there and a spear. And uh, this is just really cool. And uh, the other minifigure was that lady. Probably a better picture in here. Um, maybe. can't really see her very well, but I did not, there we go, I did not get that minifigure, I only got this guy, and, uh, and I, it's, you know, it's okay, it's, it's what it is, but this guy's just, he's really cool, I thought that was pretty cool for a 90s minifigure, and then, uh, got a classic alligator slash crocodile with this, you know, open, close the mouth, Wag the tail, and that's about it. But, um, the thing about it is, you know, this had too many figures and an animal. Put him back in frame. Too many figures and an animal. This only has too many figures. And so, uh, ahead, uh, yeah. Already the, uh, old one's ahead in, in my mind, because I really like the Lego animals. Those are, those are cool. Um, if they had included, like, a dog with this one, I think that would have been really nice. Um, I think that they would have had the, had it in their parts budget. It's uh, 198 pieces, so I think they could have put a dog in there. Um, if you, uh, want to see more detailed on this one, I do have that on our channel. But, uh, here's the male minifigure. He's, you know, got much better printing than this guy, but he's a newer minifigure. And then a female. And I thought that was kind of interesting. Because, uh, you know, there's, oh, what is it, 22 years between these two. And they both have a male and a female minifigure, or had. And uh, I thought that was cool. I thought that was significant. Um, just not keeping, not keeping it all guys, you know, putting some ladies in there as well. And this catamaran, of course, is a much newer design. Very sleek, very high-tech. Um, it looks very good, but there's this one in its ways. It is just so, so detailed. Look at the detail on those stickers on the side there. And the uh, printed piece of that either big piece of meat or a drum there. You got a nice printed shield up in the front. You got that printed sail. It is just so cool in the details. You got a couple of parrots on there as well. Um, I don't count those as animals. I think those would more be like carvings or something. But it's just the details in this are so cool, and it's uh, and it probably would be able to float. Um, I haven't tried it yet. I don't want to ruin those stickers. They are in such good condition. I don't want to mess them up. And uh, it's just really cool. You know, it's got the uh, rudder on the back. This also has rudders on the back, you know, it's a uh, catamaran, it has two different uh, holes, this also has two different holes, this has a uh, higher area for standing than this one, and this one of course, is a, of course is a mesh or a net, but this is just really, really cool to me, you know, back in the day with the pieces they had, this is just magnificent, uh, you got these little horn pieces here and there, and 
the spears, just really cool. So, if I were to pick one that I liked better, it would be the classic one. I just, there's so many details, it is just so cool, so out of the norm, really. Um, I just, I really like it, so... Uh, share your opinions in the comment section below, and we will see you in the next video.